Do you have problems with whitefly and thrips? The Swirsky predatory mite might save you. First, we have to see if you are growing the pest it likes to eat. There are several different types of white flies, and they attack a wide range of plants. You will notice the adults fly up in clouds when you disturb the foliage of an infested plant. White fly adults look a little different with each type. You may not notice many white fly adults on the back of this bean leaf, but there are many immatures there. Take a closer look at this leaf. It is covered in white flies. White fly eggs are very small, and you might not notice them. The immatures become more visible with age, but they look like small scales rather than white flies, and are often mistaken for scale insects. The white flies are usually on the underside of the leaf. This is what the white fly damage looks like on the top of a hibiscus leaf. This is white fly damage on bean. Most of the white flies are again hiding on the underside of the leaf, causing the speckling and spots on the top. This is a poinsettia leaf that is just beginning to show some white fly damage in the mottling on the upper leaf. Swirsky mites also like to eat thrips, and chili thrips are one of the worst pests. Here are photos of chili thrips damage on blueberry, rose, and chiflera. Chili thrips are much smaller than western flower thrips. Chili thrips usually damage leaves, while western flower thrips damage the flowers. Both are food for the Swirsky mite. These Swirsky mites are closing in on an immature thrips and will soon eat him. They can each eat up to five young thrips per day, or up to 19 white fly eggs, or 15 young white fly larvae per day. Swirsky mites do not go dormant in the winter but they become inactive if the temperature falls below 59 degrees and they will die in a frost. Their color is dependent on what they have been eating and may vary from dark red to purple to light yellow. Populations can expand in response to large populations of insects, but it can take three weeks to go from 10 predatory mites per plant to 600. When you get your Swirsky mites from the master gardeners, they will either be in bran or oat flakes or on cotton. If you get them in grain, sprinkle the grain on the affected plant at the top and at the base, and leave the container facing up at the base so the remaining predatory mites can climb out to work. Mites cannot fly and will move around in a crop from touching leaves to search for prey. If you received your predatory mites on cotton, place the cotton on the affected plant and place the container you received at the base of the plant facing up so that the mites can crawl up and out. Let the predatory mites take care of your pest problems for you so you can use fewer chemicals and enjoy your flower beds.